thing that happened is a person told me, can you improve three-tenths of one percent a day? And, and, and my answer to that person was, yes. That's not that much. He said, well, that's 100% in a year. 200% in year two, 400% in year three, 800% in year four. It's compound interest on your own life, right? So I was a $5 an hour person when I started off in my network marketing career. So I actually put three-tenths of 1% a day into an Excel spreadsheet. And I created a chart of what that would look like. And here's what the chart looks like. That's what it looks like. It doesn't seem to matter, doesn't seem to matter, doesn't seem to matter, doesn't seem to matter. All of a sudden it starts to matter. Wow, it matters a lot. It's compound interest on your own life. And what Jim Rohn taught me is if you draw a line at any one moment in time, say you draw it here, <clears throat> at the beginning of this line is activity. And everybody focuses on activity. I need to do what's necessary to be successful in my life. I need to do the thing and I'll have the power. Uh, but I can't seem to find my, my uh, motivation to do the thing. Doing the thing leads to results. If you do the activity, it leads to the results. Results lead to lifestyle. What you do creates what you get. What you get creates how you live. Yes? So Jim Rohn taught me that the formula for success is a few simple disciplines practiced every day. A few simple disciplines practiced every day. Three tenths of 1% compounded over time. So in other words, when you do the activity, these little, I'll use a different color. You do the little activities. If you keep doing them long enough, you're going to start getting some results and you'll start getting some lifestyle. Okay. Um, and I will tell you that the, the trick to this is this is very uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable to do the little activities when they don't seem to matter. To do the meetings when it's not making a difference. To do the calls, to keep sampling the product, to keep do, you know, showing up at conventions when you don't seem like you're having the breakthrough yet. Doing those little activities is hard. It's uncomfortable because most people aren't doing it. And out of 20 people, 19 people are up here. Excuse me. 19 people are down here. One person is up here. So you don't, it's lonely to do this little uncomfortable thing. So, and then I realized that the activity itself, if you didn't feel like doing it, if you, you're, um, your attitude wasn't right, your emotions weren't right, you weren't gonna do it. And the only way to keep your attitude right is your thinking needed to be right. So how you think leads to how you feel. How you feel leads to what you do. What you do leads to what you get. What you get leads to how you live. Thinking leads to feeling, leads to acting, leads to getting, leads to living, all right? So this here is the foundation of all of this. This is programming. This is the computer. Because if you don't think it's important, you're not going to feel good about doing it. No matter how much you set your New Year's resolution, the activity is going to fall back here because you're no, you don't feel like doing it and you're going to stop doing it. And so the programming starts here. And let me show you what failure looks like. The success curve looks like this. If you program in exactly the opposite way, the failure curve looks like this. That, this is the big fake out in, in our world today is there's not a big difference between somebody who's doing something and somebody who's not doing something. They're both signed up in network marketing. One isn't doing something, one's doing something. One, go, one is doing a home meeting, the other one's not doing a home meeting. One goes to the convention, the other one's not going to the convention. You can't see the difference that day, that week, that month, maybe not even that, that year. But if you compound this long enough, it's gonna lead to failure. You compound this long enough, it's gonna lead to success. So it takes a little bit of faith in order to be able to know you're gonna get there. So what I found with programming, and I will tell you, the, 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 the fake out here is this down here becomes comfortable. It, st it starts comfortable. This is uncomfortable, this is, this is uncomfortable. But eventually, this becomes comfortable, and this becomes uncomfortable. This is the road less traveled up here. This is where we all wanna go. How can we get ourselves to stay here long enough that the results kick in and give us confidence and off we go? How do we stay on this side long enough? Now, I found for myself personally that I was able to reprogram my thinking two different ways. One was from here forward, and the other one was from activity and results backward. In other words, I, I had long enough goals that if I did the activity long enough, it started to change my attitude. Have you ever done that? It's like <clears throat> you're scared to call people. So one day you just decide you're going to call 100 people and you call 100 people and all of a sudden you're not as scared anymore. It changed your attitude about it. It changed your thinking about it. It wasn't so scary. It wasn't so freaky. So sometimes activity itself can change it. Sometimes you need to get results in order to be able to build the confidence to stay long enough. Some of you, the reason why you're still in network marketing is you got some early results, really early. And that kept you in the game 
long enough, even though you're not doing the activity necessary, and you're trying to fill in this gap. But if you flip this, and this becomes the roots of a tree, and this becomes the tree. If you can imagine this being the roots, if you've got a rotten root system, doesn't matter what the activity and results and lifestyle are, it's going to fall apart because you're going to fall apart. You're going to start exhibiting these behaviors. Procrastination, inconsistency, laziness, feeling stuck, comfortable, rationalization, justification, all of those things. Okay? So, <clears throat> is that helpful? This thing changed my life. I'll tell you, this little chart changed my life.